Do you believe President Biden can beat former President Trump? I don't. Why not? Look at the numbers. All I'm asking people to do is look at the numbers. All we have to go on is polling. It's imperfect, but the numbers are horrifying. I love Joe Biden. I want to make that clear. A remarkable man. I think he saved our country. He was the right man in the last election. Thank goodness he won. But that's not what the numbers are saying now. There is an exhausted majority in America that wants neither of these candidates. Are you running for president? I am. I have to. I love our country so much. It has given me everything. It has given so many people so much. It's the best gift any of us have ever, ever had. And it's at risk. We're in crisis. And we need change. And I'm ready to. My father gave his life to this country. Gave his life. Mil a million Americans have given their life to protect us, our freedoms, everything that we love. And we are in a position right now where we may throw that away if we make the wrong choices. And I think the country is ready for change. I'm going to offer it. I'm going to be respectful. I'm sick of the nonsense. I'm sick of the mean-spiritedness, the aggression, the anger, the fear, the misery. You know, we can be hopeful again. Let's be America again. I want to bring that message. It's an offering. It's not a mandate. And it's a choice. I think Americans should have a choice. Thank goodness and we still live in a country in which we do. Will you seek the Democratic nomination for president? Absolutely. Only as a Democrat. I'm a proud Democrat. And I would call on anybody else who might be seeking to win the presidency to join. Don't run as a third party candidate. Don't undermine the Democratic Party's interest in moving this country in a direction that I know will be the most beneficial. Uh, I'm afraid that we have people right now who are going to undermine the eventual Democratic nominee. I will run as a Democrat. I'm a proud Democrat. And if I'm not the nominee, I will do everything I possibly can. I will give it my all, just as much as I intend to give my own campaign to whoever that nominee is, including if it's President Biden. That is my commitment. President Biden is 80 years old. Fair game for your campaign to talk about, or will you leave the issue on the shelf? First of all, both leading candidates right now will be in their 80s, the oldest two Americans to ever serve in the office. It's not my job to tell anybody in this country what's too old, even what's too young. I will tell you one thing, it's time that we start engaging young people because some of the best and brightest, best ideas, most passionate, Young people actually get it, unlike older generations. Uh, age is relative. That's for Americans to decide. You have praised President Biden in the past. You've worked with him mm -hmm. on different policy issues. Now you're running against him for the Democratic nomination. Where specifically do you believe he could have done a better job as president? I think President Biden has done a spectacular job for our country. I think he did meet the moment. Our country was at great, great risk when he took the presidency. I mean, at such great risk that I and our entire country were subject to an insurrection. I was in the House chamber that day. I know what the former president did to our country. Imagine what he would have done had he won election that time. Imagine what he will do if he wins again. I think Joe Biden should be celebrated. I, I admire him. I hope the country, I wish the country, I wish the entire country would give him more of what I believe he has earned, which is our respect and our gratitude. But it's not about the past. This is an election about the future. But do you think his time should be done in public office after one term? Considering what we are facing, considering what is on the horizon. Trump. Trump, world challenges, and also extraordinary domestic challenges. And we are not meeting the moment. Our country is not meeting the moment. And unless we're ready, to give that torch to a new generation, not just me, one leader in this country cannot do it all. But a leader can inspire a country to do something differently. Why have you know? so many other Democrats passed on running against Biden? Well, I have to say, this is one of my concerns. You know, our job is to represent, and the data is pretty clear. Over 50% of Democrats want a different nominee. And yet I'm the only one out of about 260 some members of Congress, only, the only one out of 260 that is saying the same thing. So representation is clearly not working because if that disconnect is so apparent, imagine how disconnected we are from the realities of American people. I'm concerned that that's just the metaphor, if you will,
for what's really wrong. But behind looks, the scenes, are Democrats saying different things to you? Have you gotten encouragement from some elected Democrats to do this, to get in? Yes. What do they say to you? Privately. What do they say to you privately? Everyone is in agreement. This is not, I'm not an outlier. Everyone? I am not an outlier as it relates to the need for change, for the concern about the current president's ability to win the next election. It is pervasive. It is remarkably apparent to most, but the unwillingness to talk about it publicly, the unwillingness to say the quiet part out loud is to me a sad example of the disease of our current political system in which there is no reward for telling the truth. There is no reward for being honest. There is no reward for being graceful. There is no reward for cooperation. And that's my ethos. America may not want it right now. They may not want cooperation. They think, maybe people think right now that fighting each other is the way through this. It's not. It has never worked. Are we going to vote out of fear? Are we going to continue down this path of anger and aggression and division and fighting one another? Or are we going to start fighting together? And that's really what this is about. And that's why I do believe that it is time for a new generation to take that torch, do it in a way that has not been done before, and do it in an American way. Real patriotism is working together, looking out for your fellow American, and moving forward. And anybody who claims to be a patriot, I would hope, would subscribe to that. So how do you win? How do you win the Democratic nomination? What, how do you see your path to victory, as long and as winding as mm -hmm. it might be? Well, first of all, of course I'm a long shot. I'm working against a political industrial complex that is awfully significant, awfully powerful, awfully angry and awfully responsible for the circumstance in which we find ourselves right now. I'm working against a democratic establishment that in some times has done great good for this country, but right now I'm afraid is doing us a severe injustice by favoring coronations over competitions. I believe competition makes everything better in business, in politics, in life. Thoughtful competition. So yes, I'm a long shot. And I feel compelled to do this because I cannot ever imagine looking back at this moment and thinking to myself that I had a potential, an opportunity, an obligation to try and to not do so. Let's take on the issue that hovers over your candidacy. So many Democrats know you want to make sure former President Trump does not end up back in the White House. Sure. But they argue that your candidacy could weaken Biden who they believed is best positioned to take on Trump. What's your response to so many Democrats who say, we like Congressman Phillips, we understand his desire to beat Trump, but Biden's our best shot at doing that. He should stay off the field. If President Biden, based on the numbers that are publicly available, done by all the major organizations, consistent across the board right now and getting worse, if my colleagues, those that you just mentioned, look at those numbers, and come to the conclusion that the person best positioned to beat Donald Trump is President Biden? I don't have an answer because that is the most absurd dereliction of duty I have ever encountered in my entire life. Now I understand he can win, he can, but to think that there are not other candidates that are better positioned to win? In fact, I'm afraid that the current president may be among the least well positioned to win the next election. And should he, through a thoughtful primary, emerge as the victor, I will do everything I can to ensure that he's reelected. Do I wish others would join me? Yes, I really do. I know it's rare for somebody entering this arena to actually invite competition, but we need it. You've tried to recruit others. I to still join am, the race. and it's not too late. You're running and recruiting others yes, to join? because that's what America does, exactly. How does a general win a war without soldiers, right? How do you do anything in this country without working together? How do you do anything in this country without thoughtful competition? How do you do anything in this country without differing opinions to offer people? Do you As believe that your candidacy could soften the ground for others to get in? I hope it does. I hope it does. Sincerely hope it does. Who would you like to see get in? I would like to see anybody of good character, a principal, someone who has executive experience and legislative experience. And yes, I encourage others, governors, members of the Senate, members of the House, people whose names we may not even know, 
because this is America and we need you. If you could sit down with President Biden in this home you have in Virginia, so much history here, and have a, a cup of coffee in your kitchen, what would you say to him? I'd give him a hug and I'd say thank you. You are a great American who served this country with great character, with integrity, and with possibility, and you met the moment. And now it's time for a new generation to pass the torch. And I would like to think that President Biden knew that our generation is ready. I know he does. I would encourage him to give that some thought.